Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Chainmail Bikini, which is going to be part 2 of our feature on the MMO Dungeons & Dragons Neverwinter. I am here with my newly minted little drow. Uh, he aspires to wield a sword and some armor much too big for his little elf body. And we have just washed up on this beach after apparently being assaulted by a Dragolich! My favorite kind of lich. So... Just standing here, you know, as you do. Go ahead and... And see, here is where my real problem is that... Wilfred. Press F when close to talk to him. You have to... You have to move the mouse to a certain extent to really get it to go properly. And that's kind of obnoxious when your right hand is almost crippled by carpal tunnel. But let's, well, let's press F to talk to Private Wilfred. Thank the gods! When I saw the Dracolich attack the ship, I was afraid there would be no survivors. What brings you to Neverwinter in such troubled times? What brings us to Neverwinter, indeed? You know what? Uh, he, he's a drow guy. He's like, Sorry. Screw you. Sorry. Didn't mean to pry. It's just now is not a good time to be traveling here. As you may have noticed, Neverwinter is under attack. The necromancer Valindra is assaulting the city with her undead legions. Search the wreckage along the shore for your gear. It's dangerous to go unarmed right now. When you finish, head up to the camp at the top of the hill. They've got a nice warm fire up there. You'll feel better once you've dried out. Man, I want to be Valindra when I grow up. The quest path leads to your next objective. Press C to toggle it on and off. Waypoints appear on the map to mark your quest's objectives. So, there is the tutorial bits. Uh, you get a nice little sparkly path that tells you where to go. Let's follow our sparkles here. Press F to sparkle, interact sparkle. with characters and objects. Thank you, gruff sounding guy. Searching the <laughs> inferior breastplate. Nice, thank you. That's uh sweet. That's real nice of you. Now we're gonna go up here. Let's see if maybe we can get it like some inadequate pants. A rusted greatsword. Press I to open your inventory. Double click an item to equip it. Put on our inferior breastplate, our rest of great sword. Press the alt key to toggle mouse cursor and mouse look modes. Okay, fine. The quest tracker displays current quest objectives. Hmm. Huh. Oh, at level five. This is interesting. This is something it came with. Yup, it sure does, just like every other. You know what? I'm gonna hit Alt and I'm gonna see. Oh, that doesn't actually help anything. I do have a ridiculously large sword now. I I don't think I would uh, call that an inadequate sword, though. I I can't speak for other possible inadequacies. No, don't see. Don't say that. Gap fires or rest zones where out of combat players may heal. So you have a nice little campfire here. This is, as it just said, a respawn point. You can stand here and heal up, which is nice. Let's go talk to Duder over here. Good to meet you. It's good to see someone survive the attack on the ship. When you feel ready, please speak to me again. I'm afraid I'll need your help. So Although we stop Valindra's main force, the battle is far from over. The battlefield is crawling with mindless undead who lost their masters in the fighting. Oh, to make matters worse, dead. the enemy is raising our dead to use against us. Acolyte Naaman is performing zombies. a ritual of Kelimvor to lay the newly dead to rest. That is sure to draw an attack here. I must stay and make sure Naaman finishes her ritual. Could you search the battlefield for any wounded we missed and send them here? After you finish with the wounded, go to Del McCourt's camp and tell him our situation. Okay, so this seems... 
pretty obviously intended as a tutorial quest. Oh, okay. We take a look around here. We've got some guards. Got some stuff on the table here. Now, as I said last time, I'm I'm not exactly running the most absolute incredible hardware here. But this is, it's, it's looking kind of eh. Let me take a look at our options. Well, let's see. Suggesting actually that we move it up to there. Move that up to there. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, out of curiosity. What if we just jack it for up? Yeah, actually. It does look a little better. We'll find a nice middle ground in here somewhere. Of course, running my recording software doesn't help. Just <laughs> run. Like you sure strike, damaging all foes in front of you. Oh, okay. Cover your reticule over objects and enemies to target them. And again, Diablo style, it does want you to use your mouse to do all your abilities. Which it can get kind of annoying. Uh, Diablo 3, I, I played and had a lot of fun with for a little while until my carpal tunnel pretty much made me want to die. So we're gonna kill some zombies here. Pretty exciting. Killing zombies with a sword that's way, way too big. So we go over to this guy. Ah, so it doesn't look like the first aid is a regular thing, it's just a quest thing, which is kind of disappointing. It's not a bad sword of animation there. Be careful out there! Heal this guy up and Let's see what else we've got going on. Actually, out of curiosity, are these actually aggressive? No, they're just red. Well, not a bad combo animation. Thanks. So I will say that if you're looking for something to play on, oh my goodness, like a year old laptop, even one with a dedicated video card, then it's maybe a little ugly for that. But again, running the video recording software does hinder a little. And we're already doing, here we go, we've run up to Dwarfy McCoy. Level up guide displays everything you get for leveling up. It may also offer important quests. Oh my god, guys, we dinged! It's up here, we have to go over here. Let's talk to Dwarfy McCoy. We were lucky to drive Valindra's forces back. Thank you for aiding the wounded. 
They wouldn't have survived much longer with all the undead roving about. I tried to get medical supplies and reinforcements to Linkletter as soon as possible. Unfortunately, we've got problems of our own here. Of course you do. Of course you do. The shine to his armor looks very Dragon Age. Alright. I'm afraid I have a gruesome task for you. Oh, collect We've arrows. We've driven Valindra's main army off, but our Red Wizard allies have totally still never done that in summoned undead. Private Hothedon is trying to drive them off with his arms. Unsurprisingly, but I love death knights, ammo. so I've done that in Search World the Warcraft, battlefield, probably like half some arrows times. from the dead, and then take them to Hothedon. But again, at least it's letting us continue. This is something that we're doing in between areas. So let's hit you here to see what's new. New at willpower reaping streak. That sure is a thing. Well, here are our power options. If you shift, hold down shift, you can sprint. You get dark fire for being a drow. You get trance. Okay, so that's how it does it. You recover campfires twice as quickly. In the tabletop version, that basically means that you don't have to sleep properly. You just meditate for four hours and then you're fine. So that means you get stuck on watch. Oh, and I will note, now that we're looking at it, his picture up here looks a lot more drow colored and a lot less just plain old African. So that's nice to see, just because I've never really been <laughs> comfortable at all with the association that, oh hey, they're, they're dark colored people, so they're evil, because that's bullshit. <laughs> so at least making them, you know, purple or blue or some inhuman color can sort of separate from that a little bit, even if it's still not good. Personally, I don't... <laughs> I, I don't like... In general, I don't like when any sort of fantasy or, or science fiction races are portrayed as inherently bad in some way, or inherently evil. Uh, I do know that in some of the other settings... Uh, like I said, uh, Forgotten Realms is just one setting using the Dungeons & Dragons system. And some of the others, the drow, are... You know, they're, they're not evil. Uh, I believe... Actually, I'm not sure the specifics of Eberron. Uh, but sometimes they are. Uh, every so often they're not. Uh, it's always a little touchy. But I, like I said, I think the idea that a particular race would be inherently evil is ridiculous. I think you can say that their culture is evil because it's being manipulated by this evil deity, uh, but again, that really just seems to bring us to a society run by catty dominatrices. Uh, but my feelings on Drow aside, uh, you can see what the abilities for this class are. You get Reaping Strike. Uh, you can pause that if you want to read it all. Uh, sure Strike. Not so fast, which I don't have yet. It's Spinning Strike. And Destroyer. Uh, eventually, you get Mighty Leap. Restoring Strike, which is healing. Uh, Sadly, <laughs> apparently you heal because you feel really good about the way you just sliced through that guy. Uh, it's, that's sort of disappointing. I prefer the soul-absorbing type of uh, restoring strike. Determination. Uh, once you have 50% more determination, you are unstoppable. Uh, avalanche of Steel. Slam, uh, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, you know, um, yeah, that's fun. Other stuff. Blah blah blah. Dark Fey army. Here's some feats which we don't have any of yet, and that's all very exciting mechanicsy stuff. So, let's follow Sparkly Trail. 
Press and hold the right mouse button to charge Reaping Strike for extra damage. Okay. Oh man, 43 damage. That's some that's some serious business there. Now it shows a little D20 at the bottom here. I'll punch you down here. Uh, in DDO, and maybe after this one I will give DDO a, another well, that's another one that I've played before and maybe I'll do a couple episodes on that too. On that, it actually shows, every time you try to do something, it shows it as the result of a roll. Uh, sadly, I'm not noticing this doing anything yet. It looks like it just shows your action points. Which, again, is a mechanic from the tabletop game, which they seem to be handling a little differently here. Uh, sadly, it does not actually show you a d20 roll. It's kind of disappointing. Uh, let's talk to Tiffy McTiefling here. I will answer your questions if I can, but do not break my concentration. Oh, well, screw you. Valindra yep, had a Dracolich under her control when she attacked Neverwinter. It attacked ships in the harbor and then came straight for the city. My friends and I were helping Sergeant Knox defend the walls when it attacked. There was a terrific battle, and we were able to defeat it. Oh, that's what was going on in the opening cutscene. Well, I don't you know how Valindra got a Dracolich. Perhaps a deal with the cult of the dragon. The important thing is that we deprive her of it. When a Dracolich is killed, its spirit returns to a special phylactery. From there, it can possess the body of another dragon and be reborn. This Dracolich's spirit has not departed yet. I am trying to bind it here. If it cannot return to the phylactery, we may be able to destroy it and deprive Valindra of a powerful ally. So I'm gonna take notes here. Cult of the Dragon. Get Dracolich. Cause, cause I want one. Look, have fun with that. Oh, look at it, look at it glowing. Yep, that's Dracolich. It's exciting. Oh, so I was supposed to be collecting arrows, like, for the boring thing. So that is a combo that is basically me just clicking and clicking at... It looks pretty great. It looks even better when done by Itty Bitty Elf who is way too small for a sword. Let's collect some arrows. Yep, arrows. At least there's three at a time. So, presumably there's a city around here somewhere that was being... Oh, that looks kind of like a city. Okay, good job, good job. I don't even know why I'm beating up these guys. They aren't attacking me and they aren't even a source of arrows. Oh, next. Store arrows in a barrel. Hello, skeleton. You, you notice? You don't... Um, they're orphans. They don't have a master. It's sad to be them. You're just going about doing your skeleton business. Standing by an ice warm fire. Standing in an ice warm fire? Yeah, apparently that doesn't do it. You found some ammunition. Excellent. Please place the arrows in one of the barrels. We Boring. must drive the wizards back. Let's go to 
correctly. And yeah, I'm I'm just gonna keep trying to click to interact with it because that's what every other MMO in the world does. I'm just gonna try to beat him up apparently. Thank you for the help. The red wizards haven't been driven away, but yep. this will at least force them to keep I got four copper and I'm level three. More undead are attacking Neverwinter. They're boiling out of Castle Never and storming the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. If the bridge falls, they will enter the heart of the city. Protect his enclave. I must stay and deal with the Red Wizards. Please, go no, to the I bridge and aid the defenders. I gotta stay Destroy here. Destroy the undead no, soldiers near the gate to the, our north so it may wizards? be open safely. Yeah. Then talk to Private Wilfred. He will get you inside the city and show you the way to the bridge. He looks upset. Too. Be careful. These undead are more aggressive than others you fought. Tempest grant you strength. By which we mean they may actually be aggressive. Alright, gun. Now I can use that. Which will slow people by kneecapping them, apparently. So that's great. Follow our trail of glitter. Press Q to release a low spinning strike to your enemy's legs, temporarily slowing them. Yeah, you know. Q. What? <laughs> Things are attacking me. I'm not used to that. I would like to note that in Blade, I played a character for a little bit longer for the sake of coming back later and showing the you know, this is how the game plays further along episode. And I'm at level 4, so 4 or 5, and nothing is not about yet, so kind of nice to see some things actually being hostile. Of course, I've realized the point of Scarlet Blade is not to, to be an actual game. Hello again. You're looking a good deal fiercer than when you washed up on the beach. <sighs> Told you drying out by the fire would do you good. My mother always says, warm clothes make for a warm heart. I'm gonna punch You've thinned you out the skeletons enough that we should be able to slip through the gate safely. Linkletter gave me some healing potions for you. You may need them on the bridge. Yep. Left click on a visible location to travel to, to it. Touch F to go through the door. Yes, travel there, thank you. Oh my god, what's happening? Is it a cutscene? They're in trouble! We must go to their aid! Shift and a movement key to sprint away from an enemy's attack. You can get hit by an enemy's attack. That's my, that's my favorite thing to do. I paused for a moment there because my, uh... My graphics did not like that. Okay, so I would like to point out one of my pet peeves with Undead, which seems to happen all just over the place, coming. is skeleton archers. Now, to be an archer requires you to have some sort of stuff between your fingers so you can you know, use your muscles to actually pull back a, a bowstring. Skeleton archers would just their their fingers would fall off. The bowstring would just tear off the bones and their fingers. So yeah. Skeleton archers completely unreasonable. Probably should put 
some of those potions on my bar, but you know what? My D20 lit up. Press 1 to use Spitting Strike, dealing damage to all enemies in melee range. Yes, I love using my keyboard. The gatehouse! Okay. We're going to make it! You can activate your daily power when your action points are full. At this point, I'm just mostly button mashing. It's kind of sad, but that's how these types of games are sometimes. Belindra! <sighs> Good job, Wolfric. <laughs> so he's dead. And now we've got a boss fight. our loot. Bound lesser scroll of identification and an unidentified item. So what's going on in here? Oh hey and two copper. That's exciting. Wilfred! Sorry. Should have been more cautious. No! But when I thought of all my friends who died because of her Find Sergeant Knox and tell him what happened. Ask him to check on my mother from time to time. No. You have to stop her. Lord Never Ember is no saint, but he's better than the alternative. If Never Ember fails here, Valindra will rule Neverwinter. Is she gonna find win the election Sergeant or Knox? Something? He's one of Never Ember's guards, one of the good ones. I would Totally you must vote for stop. Like, some crazy elf lich. Valindra. So he's dead.
Yep. Never winter. Uh, I'm going to call it an episode. And I will see you folks later. Uh, maybe on part three of this. We'll see. Good night.